before. I never had anybody over for dinner, let alone made love on, on the table. But somehow I just want to do that. I just want to like dance. I just want to like, you know, put on some shirelles. I just, I want to be black. That's Pete Davidson documenting his weekend with Scott Disick. But now I'll be honest. Even on a night off from SNL, the comedian still uses his Saturdays to make people laugh. And this time, his audience is the Lord's Instagram followers. I don't know what's going on anymore. After taking over the reality star's Insta account, Pete reveals he's the last one awake, showing Scott and some pals asleep in front of a TV. I never had anybody over for dinner, let alone made love on the table. But somehow I just want to do that. I just want to like dance. I just want to like, you know, put on some shirelles. I just, I want to be black. Adding the cheeky caption quote, boys night was wild. And let's just watch this moment one more time. I never had anybody over for dinner, let alone made love on the table. But somehow I just want to do that. I just want to like dance. I just want to like, you know, put on some shirelles. I just, I want to be black. This comes as E.T. is learning new details about Pete and girlfriend Kim Kardashian and her public battles with estranged husband, Kanye West. There's no such thing as 50-50 custody with, with, in society today. That's not, that's not even, it always leans towards the mom. A source tells E.T., quote, despite the struggle she's having with Kanye, Kim is really enjoying herself with Pete. She feels like she is having fun with him, like she never has before. She feels so relaxed around him and like her true self. The source adds, quote, things are getting more and more serious between them. I always saw such a good example in my mom and my dad in their relationship, so I'm always just hopeful. Kim is also opening up about co-parenting with the rapper, recently telling Ellen DeGeneres she's sticking to the high road. So no matter what goes on, you know, it's the father of my kids, I'll always be protective. I always want my kids to just see the best of the best. So I just try to, as hard as it can be sometimes, I do try to ignore it and just try to do whatever's best for the kids. That's what I love about you. Because yeah. take the high road. It's, uh, yeah. This interview comes after Kanye's constant social media rants from questioning Kim's parenting abilities. I said, I am not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok. To sharing a music video featuring a claymation figure that seemingly resembles Pete. God sent me from that crash just so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass. Who? Meanwhile, Jonathan Chebin, one of Kim's besties, recently voiced to ET his support for her new relationship. As Kim's, one of Kim's closest confidants, what do you think of her and Pete together? Um, I think it's cool. Yeah. You know what? She's having fun, I guess, you know? Uh, you know, I, I, I've hung out with them a couple of times and, you know, I love her to death. So whatever, whatever makes her happy. As her friend, how are you supporting her through all the kind of the Kanye craziness that's happening? Oh, I don't even know anything about that. No. So I love Kanye too, man. He's a f genius, excuse me. Um, but you know, listen, I just, I hope, I hope everybody um, ends up settling. 